Does your app deal with sensitive data? Do you need to ensure that it's protected? Stay tuned to find out how easily Cloud DLP does this and much more. Throughout this data loss prevention series, we're going to focus on our fictitious feline walking company, Kitty Cat Walks. Kitty Cat Walks pairs cat owners with local cat walkers via their online and mobile app. Kitty Cat Walks launched six months ago and it's rapidly gaining customers. They want to understand more about their customers, both human and feline alike, and they need a way to share and analyze some customer information like preferred, <clears throat> preferred walk length or favorite catnip while protecting sensitive data like addresses and credit card numbers. While this work would be super hard for humans, it's pretty easy for Cloud DLP. Not only can Cloud DLP automatically detect addresses and credit card numbers, it has over 120 predefined info types. You can even define your own based on custom dictionary detectors or regular expressions so you can protect things like customer account numbers. So what sort of data can DLP scan? Cloud DLP scans streams of data, structured text, files in cloud storage, or data in BigQuery, and even images. Once found and classified, DLP can de-identify the data using techniques like redaction, masking, tokenization, date shifting, and more. Using the right combination of these techniques allows you to preserve the right data and still retain some referential integrity to collect important metrics and make smart business decisions. By adequately de-identifying data that we don't need for any business purpose, we can minimize the likelihood of exposure of sensitive customer information, which helps protect our users and our business. So what would happen if we didn't adequately de-identify our data? Well, if that data fell into the wrong hands, we run the risk of exposing sensitive information about individuals, which can have some serious privacy implications. Sounds scary, but Cloud DLP can help compute and quantify the risk according to several metrics and it can publish its findings and summary details to other systems. For our Catwalk app, it's clear that we're collecting personal information like credit card numbers and addresses. But how do we use DLP to help keep their customer data safe? Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll cover what is data de-identification. <laughs>